Hi and welcome to 2019. I'm Pat Moriarty from the Institute of Community Directors Australia. Really looking forward to a great 2019. So obviously it's early in the year, we want to be up and running as board and directors. So let's look at five things we can really um, facilitate ourselves so that we get up to speed. First thing we really love you to think of is that lovely little tip called the pestle. What's likely to change in our operating environment over the next 12 months? Politically, economically, socially, technologically, legally and environmentally. So let's take a practical example of that. We all know there's going to be a federal election in March. What are we doing as an organisation, as a board and as a sector to advocate for our own causes and our issues that maybe can influence political outcomes? Really practical tip, maybe go and have a visit to your local politician to get your issue, your cause front and centre in your local community. Second element we'd love to get you up and running with is really thinking about a deeper dive into your strategic plan. So what are the six, five elements that you've got? Maybe allocate 30, 45 minutes throughout your board calendar throughout the 12 months so that we actually delve into those, not wait three years to review our strategic plan and adapt it if it's not quite working. Third thing I'd really love to think of is it's the start of a new year. We may have had an AGM in October or November. We might have new board members coming onto our board. Have they been properly inducted? Are they able to be up and running? Have they been supported by the chair and the management to be able to get them implemented and up and running straight away? And are there any needs that we need to look at for them to maybe help develop them and their skills? Are there gaps in it? Have we had decent conversations? So let's get them up and running and able to move straight away. Fourth element I'd love you to think of is we talk about trusting and validating. So what are the things that we really need to look at? What are the reports we need to see? What are the questions we need to be asking? Really simple thing to have in place around that is our compliance register. We should have one in place and we can marry that up with our calendar over the 12 months. So we're not trying to do all of our compliance stuff at the one time. And remember that might have trust and validate. It's a pretty simple thing to remember. It doesn't mean we don't trust people around occupational health and safety, but we make sure that we're validating that those things are actually being done or we're getting a subcommittee to validate that for us. So again, maybe thinking about what subcommittees we need to have in place to help us enable to get those things done that do need to be done. Final little thing is to really start thinking about our own measurement and how we're going to monitor our own performance as a board and also the performance of our CEO and senior management. Let's start to plan for that now. I don't want us waiting 12 months to do our performance review. It's probably too late. If I'm a director who's been disgruntled about the way things are going, I've probably made the decision to leave. So let's maybe think about setting that when new people have had time to get up and running, but also it gives us time to adapt and change if we find things out from the review that we really need to adopt. So again, just wrapping that up, don't forget that motto about trusting and validating. Let's try and get 2019 to be a really great year for us and really make the Australian community sector a vibrant and active community sector. Good luck with that.